Welcome back to another episode of Mass Mix or Fix It Right. Today we're going to learn how to test a relay or a relay switch in your automobile. You'll notice on the bottom we've got four prongs. Now how this switch works is two of these prongs create a circuit. When battery voltage is applied to that circuit, it creates a magnet inside of here. The other two prongs have a little piece of metal that's not contacting each other n normally. When battery voltage is applied to this switch, it brings that piece of metal over it and touches the other contact, allowing juice to flow through. If these don't work, it can affect anything from your headlights to your fuel pump to just all kinds of different things. So today we're going to show you how to test these. First, you need you a couple jumper wires. I don't have any with the alligator clips, so I kind of rigged some up here. Now, how do you find out which part is the control circuit and which part is for the juice to allow the juice to go through the circuit, to complete the circuit? Well, some of the relays have it right on the side. Prong 85 and 86 you can see this piece right here, that, that being the magnet. That symbolizes a magnet. There's a resistor in here. So you know that this circuit has resistance. This is the open or closed circuit, the switch. That's 30 and 87. You look on the bottom here, you'll notice that there's some numbers. 86, 85. It appears to be the smaller prongs on this particular relay. But you won't always see that. You won't always have numbers. You don't always have this clear cut little symbol here. So how do you find out which side's the control circuit and which side's the, the pass through circuit, the switch? Well, you wanna turn your meter. But anyways, that's how you find the control circuit. See, no resistance. Evidently, I had a loose connection there. No resistance. And then when you touch the control circuit together, you'll see that there's resistance. You do it over here. Nothing. 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 No resistance. But when you touch the control circuit, You'll notice there's resistance on that circuit. That's how you find your control circuit. There's resistance. No resistance anywhere else. So now, now that you have your control circuit, what do you do? How do you test to see if it's good? Well, obviously the control circuit, we don't know if it's good, but it seems to have a connection. In order for there to be resistance, it has to be passing through the resistor. Now, if we want to check that circuit to make sure it's working, we hook the jumpers up to the battery, one to the positive, one to the negative. Doesn't matter which side of this control circuit you touch. Make sure you don't touch the wires. It's better to have alligator clips to do this, but we're making do with what we have. So you touch the control circuit. Hear that click? That means the control circuit itself is working. And see, if I flip it around, it doesn't matter which way you hook it up, you should still hear a click. Notice, if I do it over here, 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 nothing. Because those are not So we know the control circuit's working. Now, how do we find out if the little metal piece is moving over and allowing the juice to go through? Well, that's an excellent question. What we're gonna do for this, is we're gonna just bend this wire around the control circuit here, like that. Boom. 
we'll hold it up there and then we'll take this wire hear how it clicked see click now we'll hold that up we'll put one lead here the meter's still on continuity So we're definitely getting juice through this circuit. If you hear that beep with it hooked up to power, see, hear the switch. You want to make sure that that switch engages. <coughs> if the switch isn't engaged, you get nothing. So you make sure. And that's how you can tell if your relay is good. This relay is obviously good. Probably would have put it back in my wife's van before she gets upset. Don't even know what it goes to, but I'm sure it's important. So. That, my friends, is how you test a relay. And it doesn't just apply to cars. Anything that you find a relay in, they're all built the same. One side's a control circuit. The other side is your pass-through circuit or your switch. Test them just like this. Meters on continuity. Get you a good battery. Test the battery. Make sure it's good. And, uh... You check your check the relay just like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, enjoyed it and found it helpful, leave me a comment. Please like and subscribe. You can click on my face at the end of the video, and we'll see you soon.